It's Wednesday morning in Wise County. Hello and welcome to the September 5th edition of Update Live, brought to you today by McMaster New Holland, the farm and lawn equipment capital of Texas. And now the news. Well, the Wise County burn ban has been lifted, sort of. The burn ban that's been in place since July 10th was lifted Tuesday, according to Wise County Emergency Management Coordinator Cody Powell. Powell said in a press release that due to current weather conditions, Wise County Judge J.D. Clark had lifted the full ban and reverted to the ban that's dependent on weather conditions. The National Weather Service has stated the current wet weather pattern will continue for the next several days with isolated heavy rain. Powell added it's important for residents to remember that the county is still under a burn ban. I know it's confusing. Parts of Wise County received more than an inch of rain yesterday and overnight. Rainfall totals included 1.31 inches in Decatur, 1.2 in Cottondale, 0.65 in Alvord, 0.06 in Bridgeport, 0.05 in Paradise, and 0.01 in Greenwood. Today's forecast calls for a 50% chance of rain with a high near 87. The United Way of Wise County will have its kickoff event tomorrow morning at 1030 at the Decatur Conference Center. The event includes lunch and will feature a kickoff address by County Judge J.D. Clark. The organization has set a goal for $450,000 for this fall's fundraising efforts to support the 30 agencies that it exists. Well, here's volleyball results from last night, including the following. Decatur beat Wichita Falls Rider 3-1. Bridgeport beat Pilot Point 3-0. Boyd beat Ponder 3-0. And Godley beat Paradise 3-0. Alvord beat Prairie Valley 3-0. The Alvord Watermelon Festival is this weekend at Elm Creek Park. Activities begin Friday night with a cornhole and washer tournament and a 42 tournament. Saturday's events include a breakfast, a pageant, an antique car show, bingo, and an IBCA barbecue cook-off. The Mike Watts Memorial Scholarship Fish Fry will be held on Saturday evening. Here are today's funeral notices. Service for Ricky Lynn Johnson, 61 of Rome, and Shirley May Russell, 81 of Decatur, are pending at Hawkins in Decatur. Funeral for Betty Pendergrass, 74 of Bridgeport, will be at 10 a.m. Friday at Hawkins Funeral Home Chapel in Bridgeport with burial in Sayre, Oklahoma. Graveside for Butch Garrett, 70 of Bridgeport, is at 10.30 a.m. Saturday at West Bridgeport Cemetery. Graveside service for Jack Kaufman, 84 of Paradise, is at 11 a.m. Friday in Paradise Cemetery. Family visitation, 6 to 8 p.m. Thursday at Hawkins Bridgeport. Service for Barbara Doherty, 78 of Paradise, is pending at Hawkins in Boyd. Service for Rixie, Ricky Johnson, 78 of Paradise, is pending at Hawkins in Boyd. Service for Reinhard Max Warmuth, 58 of Alvord, is at noon Saturday at the Rockin' N.W. Ranch Equestrian Campground and Jones Family Funeral Home in Bridgeport is handling arrangements. That's the news for this morning. Thank you for watching Update Live, brought to you by McMaster New Holland. Breaking news as it happens at wcmessenger.com and on the Messenger's Facebook and Twitter pages. Hope you have a great Wednesday. I'm Roy Eaton.